Hi everybody, Dave here with the Ghostware team. Today I'm going to make a video showing you how to set up your Android TV box when you first get it home. These steps are the most important steps when you first purchase a new Android TV box. Hopefully it was a Team Ghostware box because they are the best boxes in the business hands down. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it here. The first thing you're going to want to do is find your settings tab and this will be located in different places on different boxes. It all depends on what box you have. Sometimes you're going to want to look in apps, my apps or all apps. In my case, I have it set up right on my home screen for easy access. So step number one, connect your Wi-Fi. I am hardwired at the moment, um, which is what I highly recommend. You won't get a better speed than than directly wiring it to your router or modem. But if you don't have that option, you need to set up your Wi-Fi. Click on Wi-Fi. Uh, you will have to turn the Wi-Fi device on in some cases, which not a big deal. Click on on, turn it on. Once you turn it on, you can either click see all or you'll just wait and it will show you a list of available networks. You find your network, click on it and type in your password and boom, you're connected. All right, on to step number two. You're going to want to adjust your date and time to make sure your box is displaying the right date and time for your time zone. So select date and time. And if it is not displaying the correct time or the correct date, uh, you can turn automatic date and time off and manually set up the date and time. Uh, in my case, the date is correct, the time is correct. But I'll just show you, uh, you're just going to select time zone and then go through the list and find uh, your time zone in the list. And that is, that's it for step number two. Step number three, we're gonna want to adjust the display. Sometimes when you get it home, you'll notice that up in the top right hand corner here, your, um, some of your screen may be cut off. And that's a pretty simple fix. It's uh, right here in display. Uh, screen position, then you're gonna wanna zoom in or zoom out. I'll just show you the effects here. Zoom out will make your screen smaller and zoom in will make it bigger. Alright, on to step number four. And this is the most important step and a lot of people do skip this step. You need to set up a Google account on here to make sure your Google Play services stays up to date and and, and a lot of other things in the background. If you want, If you want your box to stay up to date absolutely make a Google account for your Android box. Doesn't have to be your actual, sorry I, I did that a little quick, doesn't have to be your actual uh, email address. I always set up a dummy account because if you use your actual email address uh, you're gonna get a lot of notifications, emails, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but on the other hand, if you're going to use this box to access your social media and your emails, you will want to use your actual account. Uh, for the video video sake purposes, I'm just going to set up a dummy account and we're going to want to select Google. I know this step is a bit of a pain, but it is something that absolutely should be done on every box. So we're going to create a new account. First name, uh, John. Last name, Smith. And then you'll click next. Phone number. So after you enter in your phone number, Google is going to want to send you a text message. And it's, it's their verification process. It has to be done. So we'll do that now. It, it comes through on your phone fairly quick. There we go. I already got it. That is very fast. It takes two seconds. So you're going to want to enter that code in that they send you. 656-593, excuse me. Click next. Okay, so when you go to set up your month, day, and year, for some reason in the drop down menu, when you, when you select it and you try and use your mouse to highlight it and select a month, it won't let you. So you have to find your corresponding month and 
and and select uh, select the first letter of the month. I don't know why this is like this. It's some kind of glitch. Uh, year, and then we'll select gender. Blah blah blah. And when you select gender, same thing as the month. You have to select M or F to select. Okay, now we got that all set up. Now you need to select a username. Doesn't matter what it is, it can be anything. Um, we'll go David. Actually, John Smith is what we're going with. So, and if that username's already taken, Google will obviously give you suggestions down here. For the video's sake, we'll just use what they s selected for us. Uh, we'll make a password John. I recommend making this password something you can easily remember or writing it down somewhere, but don't forget where you wrote it down and don't lose it. Okay. Oh, we have to have a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. So. I always skip this step. I don't care to give uh, add a phone number to my box. I don't see the point in it. Then we'll scroll through this. That's their privacy policy. All right, and all we do is click next. There we go. Um, I don't back up any of my stuff from my Android box. You can if you'd like to. It's entirely up to you. <clears throat> I also don't add a credit card because I have children at home and I'm pretty sure they would buy a bunch of stuff on Google Play Store that I don't want them to. Alright, you can see my Google account is set up there. I, I got a couple errors in there when uh, when I was setting it up, but that's okay. It's it's still uh, there. We go. Uh, you can do a bunch of stuff in here, but uh, and that's how you set up your Google Play account. Uh, last but not least, this is something I recommend you doing. If you don't like seeing advertisements in Terrarium TV or Showbox or or other streaming apps like that, uh, go through your browser. Google Attaway and download Attaway. I will mention that this app will not work unless your device is rooted. I already have it enabled, but when you open it, all you do is click Download Files and apply Ad Blocking. Uh, and, and it'll da download the files, apply the ad blocking, and it'll ask if you want to reboot after you, after you do that, and I recommend doing a quick reboot. All right, everybody, that's uh, the end of this tutorial. That's just your initial setup of your Android TV box. Uh, step number four is huge, creating a Google account. A lot of people skip that step. Please do not skip that step. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.